Everybody, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host Dexter Arafulis, and today I'm going to show you something a little different. Now, I'm usually reviewing action figures, but it's been a while since I've ever done a review, like a full-blown review. So, one of the reasons why I've been studying for a test, and one of the other reasons is I've been working on this figure for the longest time. I've wanted an SH Figure Arts. Um, Hot Ryu or Shirtless Ryu, uh, just because I think he looks so cool and he's buff and he, he looks like he's a wandering warrior. And, you know, I know Comic Con's gonna be making one. Um, there's gonna be an exclusive by Storm Collectibles. But, like I said in my Ryu from uh, Storm Collectibles, I think that Ryu is just a little bit too big. So I want one that fits that Marvel Legends scale. So I decided, why not make one myself? Now, what you see here took me a lot of time. Took me quite a bit of money, uh, but you know what? I think he looks okay for what I've done with him. I mean, he's not horrible. He could be better. So today, I just want to show you how I did this. Now, if you guys are like me and you want an SH Figure Arts Hot Ryu or Shirtless Ryu or whatever you want to call him, this is what I did. Now, I'm going to go over the process on how I did it, what I did, and everything like that. So let's just jump right into it. So let's start off with the materials that you need. Now, you're gonna need quite a bit of materials. The first thing you're gonna need is this Kanikomon figure. Let's give a look at him now. Obviously, I don't have a Kanikomon with me because he's kind of incorporated into the Ryu body. And what you see here is that actually works really well. The Kanikomon series and the Street Fighter series, in terms of Ryu and uh, Kanikaman, they're interchangeable. The arms fit, um, they all pop into place, which is really convenient. And that's why I'm hoping maybe one day SH Figure Arts may, might make an actual release, because it shouldn't be that hard. There's some problems which I will get into right now. So, one thing I have to tell you, here are the negatives of making this figure. And I'm pretty sure you can see where that is. Now, right here on his waist, and this is a big problem for me. Let's look. It's really ugly. I don't even like it that much. And I try to ignore it when I look at him, and maybe you guys did too. But if you saw him right away, then, uh, well, yeah, and then you're going to get an up-close ugliness. So right here is the bottom waist of Ryu. Now, obviously, this had to be sculpted. Uh, to be honest, I'm not quite done painting it, so I will finish it probably after I'm done making this video, but I just wanted to show you what the problem is here. Kanikuman's waist is way too thin, like extremely thin, and it looks like Ryu is really like, he doesn't have the waist that he needs. In fact, his belt is too wide, and what you're gonna get is a really bad movement of, the, uh, of his waist there. So what you gotta do in order to alleviate that is you got to basically take the third way. So here's what you need to do with Kanikuman. Before I even get into that, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me tell you what I did with Kanikuman. Let me show you. So here's Kanikuman's legs and feet. Here's Ryu's body. 
And then we have Kanikamon's arms. Right here. And I might even incorporate his... Uh, I want to incorporate these hands, but like I said, I don't want to get off subject. So here we go. So what you need to do is you basically need to get a uh, hair dryer. Try to loosen up as many joints as possible. This ball joint connects to Ryu's ball joint. Um, to my surprise, they're interchangeable. So basically you just need to pop off uh, Kanikamon's whole upper body and you need to remove the arm joints, right? Then heat up those arm joints. These are actually Kanikamon's joints right here that I'm pointing at right here. Those are Kanikamon's joints. You can heat those up on his body. Um, and what you need to do, you need to pull off his arms. And you're gonna replace his arms with Ryu's arms, okay? So once you figure out how to take off Ryu's gi, it's not very hard at all. You pretty much just have to um, take off one of his arms and then you can take off the gi and then this can just pop right off. So this right here is a, uh... oh yeah, one more thing. This joint right here is not compatible with the Kanikamon, right? So this is Ryu's body. So the Kanikamon joint that connects all three sections of his body does fit the lower joint of the Ryu, okay? Let me get that straight. So one more time, I'm gonna tell you what happened here. Kanikamon's main joint system that connects all three of the body does fit the bottom joint of Ryu's bottom, okay? So that does fit. And then Ryu's arms have to be put on Kanikuman's shoulder joints, butterfly joints. See, this is what I have here. So I took those off. So now that you got everything together, you should have Ryu's waist just wobbling around all over the place, okay? All right, so now that you've, uh, hopefully you've figured out how to take apart Kanikuman, He's not too hard to pull apart. Um, Kanikamons are going for around $30. And I know, between you and I, I think there's even a, a clone Ryu. So you can probably get both of them for around maybe 50 bucks. So you can make a custom hot Ryu for around 50, maybe to 100 bucks, depending on the supplies that you get. Um, so, now that you've got this apart, let's go into phase two of this. All right? So, in phase two, what you kind of want to do is get your custom action figures. Main thing that you use is epoxy skull. Now this stuff is pretty awesome. You can get this on like Amazon. Like you can even get it from uh, Abe's main website. It's pretty cheap. It's like 20 bucks for a pound. You don't even need a pound. You can even go for a quarter pound. And the first thing you want to do is kind of work on this waste. Now I'm gonna be including pictures on how this happened, how I did it, basically to give you a visual representation on how I did it. So Ryu has this skirt, first step is what you wanna do, is you wanna cut off his skirt, right? And you wanna super glue the front part of Kanikamon's lower abs to the belt, right? You're gonna super glue that sucker in so it doesn't move. Then you're gonna use epoxy sculpt just a little bit, and you kind of want to mold this back here, right? Sorry, right here. And you want to mold this back right here. Try your best to mold it through. I know I didn't do a great job because I haven't messed with epoxy sculpt in years, so it's been a while. So again, I'm probably gonna work on this to get a better visual representation of the best version. This is about 90% done, and I'll probably post it on my Instagram. So once you mold this back, onto the midsection that's glued to this. You set that aside. So you cut that, you molded that, that lower part to this belt. Remember, make sure the front of his abs is attached here. You don't want the back of the belt, okay? You don't want that, trust me. And the reason is you're gonna cut this belt. So right now, I cut this and I super glued it, fused it together right here. If it wasn't fused, it would be really big. So you have to cut it just the right size. And what I did was you wanna fold over the other and mark where it meets or where you wanna cut and then cut it. Cut one side, not both. So again, overlap this, overlap that, see where it, where it needs to be cut, give it a cut, boom, right in the middle. 
super glues suckers together, and now you can complete reuse waste. If you're a better painter and sculptor than me, by all means, awesome. This will be worthwhile. So now that you've sculpted most of this, okay, let's go look at Ryu's face. Now I think the face is really fun. I really like doing this. Um, here, let me, let me get into focus here. I love making the bearded Ryu face. So what you need is kind of like a, a permanent marker. Um, I use uh, Gundam pens, uh, black, pure black, and basically I basically drew in the beard first. And the reason why you want to do that is you kind of want to see, okay, how do I want his beard to look? And I know how his beard looks in the game. So I, want, I try my best to give it that look. But also what you want to do is kind of acts as like an underskin. Okay? And here's what the underskin's for, or the under color. Okay? Or the undercoat. So you get the epoxy sculpt. You get so little. I'm talking like a dab. It's so small. And what you want to do is you want to put, kind of sculpt it around here. Right? And you see all that texture that I did? It's so easy to do. Once you mold it enough around here, you want to just take your pick like I have here, if you have a pick. Again, all the, all the supplies are in the description. So if you want to know what I use to make him, all of it's there. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. So what you want to do is you want to texturize it. Just give it like little, little bumps and lumps here. Just go like that one direction right here. Okay? And then... Boom, that's it. You paint it black, set it aside, and you have a bearded Ryu face. So you can do that to all the Ryu faces, like this one. Of course, I like to put it on the neutral face. Uh, I didn't quite finish it down here because, uh, to be honest, I was afraid at first, but I probably will finish it just like this one. And there you have it. You have Ryu's face. You can put that aside, let that dry. So now, by this time, if you've been following directions, you should have... This sitting aside, ready to dry. His face is ready to dry. Okay, so the next step is making these gloves. All right, so let's make these gloves. I'll tell you how I made them. So this is kind of expensive, and what this is is book tape. All right, you get kind of like that boxer's glove or boxer's uh, hand wrap look, and it's black. And it matches Ryu very well according to the game. It's fabric tape, kind of, but it's a little bit stronger. It's made to hold together books. And this thing's about $15. It's really expensive. So and you're not even going to use that much. You're probably going to use about that much of it, like that much tape. Um, we're looking at maybe three inches of tape. Maybe not even, not even three inches of tape. So what you want to do is you want to cut that three inches right here. And then afterwards, you want to cut this in strips, like tiny strips. We're talking like a quarter inch strips, maybe even less, one eighth inch strips. And you're going to start wrapping his hands. Um, so you can wrap his hands as best as you can, um, like I did here. Let's zoom in to those hands. Right? You can start wrapping those hands to look just like the just like he has in the game. Now, as you'll notice, his hands are usually red. They have the red gloves over them. So lucky for you, if you look in the list below of things to buy, you're going to have Model Master Matte Black Paint. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to wrap those hands. Say you wrap them as best you can. And this middle joint will be red. And then you'll see red spots and stuff like that. You're like, well, how do I solve that? Very simple. You take your brush and you try to fill in all the red that you can. Okay, you wanna fill in all that red. So now you'll have this black Ryu-like uh, wrapped hands look, and I really like that. So what I do for the wrap, oh, for the tie here, you wanna take one of those strips, and you wanna tie a tiny knot. Double knot it, and wrap it around Ryu's hand. That's all I did, pretty simple. And you do it to the other hand, Heck, you can even do it to these hands, as you can see here. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, you can still see a little bit of red in there. Okay, so now that you have that settled, you let's say you are done with this midsection, you're done with the faces, you're done wrapping the hands, and then you're gonna work on this. And so what you wanna do with this, okay? This is, uh, I took that same fabric tape, I folded 
or glue or took the adhesive side of two of those strips, put them together, and I wrapped it here. And the reason you want to do that is because you don't really want to tape that down. Uh, I didn't. Um, I don't know why. I just thought it would be cool to double tape it. Um, you can put one sided. It doesn't matter. And then I painted it white or a, a flesh tone white. Might want to give it some black highlights. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay. So now that you've done that, let's see what else is next. So you took a part of the Kikuman, you let's talk about his pants. So again, not the best in terms of what I sh could have done. I really need to sh um, sand this down to be smoother. I really do. So what you can do is you can like take a pen and cut out that and draw a line of where you want to cut, right? And you want to cut down that pant leg. And then you want to cut it out and then try to shave it down. Now, when you take out that white, you think that you're gonna find Ryu's leg under there, you're not. You're just gonna find pure pants. So once you cut that out, you wanna smooth this down as best as you can, just like I did. You probably wanna do a better job than I did. <laughs> and then you wanna paint it in that flesh tone. We'll go over the paint in just a bit. And then you kinda wanna cut here and there, cut here and there on the pants, just cut out pieces of his, uh, of his pants, just so it looks more tattered. And then you want to take um, maybe a drill, uh, not really a drill bit, but kind of like a diamond bit that's that's uh, cylindrical. And you want to just go right into this pan, right there. And if you got all this ruffles and stuff, that's fine. That's kind of what he looks like anyway. You want to do it on the side here too, right? Put that there, okay. If you, you can make this look however you want it. If you want to clean that up, that's fine. You can probably even continue to make the better pant ruffles with epoxy sculpt here. All right, so now that you've cut that out, you've put that paint there, you put that, uh, oh, sorry, you, you cut that out, you cut, you drill, you shave down this leg and you shave down this one, okay? So now what you wanna do, you wanna start painting. Um, here's how, what I use. Let's talk about paint. Now, obviously, I'm not the best painter. As you can see, I could have done a much better job with his bottom section and his leg there. I think the best thing I've done is these faces and the beard. That was really fun to do. Um, so here's the paints that I use. And you can use different paints. It doesn't matter. But here's what I use if you want to go try to find Ryu's uh, skin tone as best as you can. Because the one thing that you're going to notice when you get the Kanikamon and you get the Ryu is that the Kanikamon body is very light compared to the Ryu arm. So you want to try to get some shading done in order to match it. All right. So what did I use? I'm going to tell you exactly what I used. So what you have here is Model Master and I use Skin Tone Warm. This is Skin Tone Warm. Again, all this stuff will be in the description down below. I use Tan Beige. There's tan beige. And then I have an even darker um, wood. It's like a wood color. Also, these are acrylics. Do not use oil-based paints. And the reason why is because I tried oil-based enamel on him and it started melting his, uh, his skin. And I tried it on the Ryu body and it just didn't work. So don't do that. Use enamel, uh, use a acrylic base. And you got matte black, of course. Boom, right there. And you got matte white. So let's talk about skin tone. So these three are the skin tone of choice. And what you want to do is you want to make this the base, the warm. And then you want to mix to whatever you're liking, whatever your eye says, you want to mix these, the, well, sorry, you don't want to use this one later. You want to mix the light, the light tan and this one together until you match the skin tone. And if you're like, well, Dex, how do I match the skin tone? I don't want to just put paint on him. Well, the good thing about acrylic paint is one, you can wipe it off with water when it's fresh. Pretty awesome. Also, you can use a little bit of paint thinner and that cleans it up too. But what you have here is a spare Ryu body. Oh, look at that. What do we do with his, uh, with his really skinny body? You can use it to try to match the skin tone of the body. As you can see what I've been doing here and I've just started messing around with it. And then eventually I just found it um, and it started matching with the skin as you can see. I don't think you can even see it or yeah You can it's just a little bit right there and I realized okay That's pretty good if I lighten that up. I can get pretty close You'll probably do a better job than I did because I've already started and pretty much if I want to do it I have to sand that all down, but for now I'm gonna keep them like this 
So once you find that with these three colors, you're gonna start painting a little. And what I absolutely love to do uh, to get these tones, if you do like these shade tones, I'm gonna tell you how I did it. I just basically went over with my brush, started painting really heavily on the, on the indentations of his body, and then I took a towel, like a microfiber towel, and I wiped. It's called the wipe method, and what you get here is some really nice uh, shadowy tones where it should be. And I really like the way that turned out. Again, if you don't like it, um, you can paint them however you like. I mean, it's your figure. But I kind of love that shading. At first I didn't like it. I said, oh man, it looks a little too dirty. But then it started to grow on me and I said, you know, I'm gonna keep it. So now that you got that skin tone down, you can start painting in the leg right here. Also what you wanna do is if you're not happy with how the leg looks here, you can take some of uh, those uh, portable sand files and you can just file it down. And then you could file it down here too. So you can get as close to the end and file it down here, obviously. And you can get to as close as that as possible. So now that you've painted that skin tone, what you wanna do now is, uh, I think that's it, that's pretty much it. I think if you, you know, again, here's the black paint. If you wanna paint in the gloves, make new gloves, whatever. Oh, also I have white, matte white, and the reason why I have matte white is um, you can use it for the, for the armband, and you can also use it to give it like that weathered look on his, uh, on his belt here. Also, one thing I did, and you don't have to do it, but I did it just because his pants are just too white when you first get the SH figure out through you is this part right here is too white. So what I did, I watered down some white and black. So you want more white, two parts white, one part black, or maybe even not even one parts black, like 0.5 parts black. And you wanna put some water so it's nice and thin. So the reason why you want it like that is so you could start shading this in so it looks darker. And the cool thing about watered down acrylic is that it's so easy to take off and it leaves just a subtle hint. I'm talking so subtle. And if you notice, yes, it is much darker because of those subtle hints of black and the white mixed in. And it looks really nice. I really think that's cool. Um, again, if I have pictures, I will be posting them on how I did that. It's not too hard. Like I said, you know the ratios. You need more white and black and you just need to water it down where it's a watery consistency so you can get that and then you just Basically put the paint on, wipe it off. And you'll get this cool, like darkened, more weathered looking pants. Wow, so I went over paint, I went over what I got. So here's the fun part. Let's let's do a comparison, obviously. We gotta compare him with other figures and I think that's pretty cool. And of course it's gotta be with Street Fighter. So what I have here is um, SH Figure Arts Chun-Li. And of course, Soda Toys Ken. Very old Soda Toys Ken. This Ken has just been just sitting in my, um, my toy box for quite some time. And bam, there you go. Obviously, I gotta put him with some Marvel Legends. I have Ben Reilly Spider-Man right here. So he does look pretty well with all of them. I think that's what looks pretty cool. So yeah, I think that's about it. Just need to work on him a little bit more. Uh, I wanna close this video by saying, man, this guy was a journey. I'm gonna tell you, even though it seems like, how long is this video, like what, 10 minutes, 12 minutes? Oh, this guy has taken me three weeks to make. I try to get in as much time as possible with my busy schedule. I try to get two hours a day, and I think I've, mm, let's see, so I work on him about three times a week. I probably put six hours in a lot more. And you probably will be too if you're thinking about making him. So just think about that. Well, actually, to be honest, probably not now that you kind of have the idea of what to get, the process and everything. So it might be faster for you. I did a lot of trial and error. Um, so yeah, I just, hopefully I will help you in your journey to make hot Ryu or uh, shirtless Ryu. So yeah. Again, everyone, thank you for watching. I'm so appreciative of all my subscribers and everyone who's been watching my videos. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I, I ask you to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And that's about it. I guess we're gonna do some poses with him. Oh yeah, oh, before I forget, before I forget, before, oh, I almost forgot this. Pledge for floor cleaner, which, so, 
His arms, Ryu's arms and Kanikaman's joints are, they fit, but they're loose. So you want to take some pledge floor cleaner, put it in that joint, put the arm in, set it overnight, and what you have here is a hard joint. Bam, tighten that sucker up. So that's the my last tip for you. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. <laughs> Again, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Love you all. Hope to see you guys later. Oh, and one more thing. Comic-Con's coming up. So excited for that. I will be getting a hot Ryu from uh, Storm Collectibles, and I'll be comparing them with mine. So that will be a really fun uh, journey. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this journey. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, you. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here. Not there. Right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here. Right there. Right here. Yeah.